Anyways, I just wanted to draw a distinction between alignment, assembly, and pseudo alignment. Um, so everything we've been doing so far was alignment based. So we have RNA seq reads that are like 100, two by 100, or 150 bases long. And we have a reference genome that the whole reference genome is 3 billion bases. Our chromosome 22 is 54 million bases. And alignment is basically taking each of those reads and trying to say, like, where on the reference genome did this read likely come from? Um, so that's alignment, and the, the alignments created in that way are what we've been using for all the expression and differential expression analysis up to this point. Um, but that is distinct from assembly, which um, compares the reads, each read not against a reference genome, but against each other. So you do assembly without a reference genome. You're just basically like taking each read and you're trying to put reads in piles where it looks like they overlap each other and to form contigs. So you can do like de novo transcript discovery with that approach and figure out without any knowledge, prior knowledge about what the transcripts look like or what the even the sequence of the genome is, just from the raw data itself, try to figure out what the transcripts uh, sequences actually are. Uh, and we didn't do that, but there is like a a module that we don't we don't get to that uh, uses Trinity to do this de novo assembly, uh, and then the third approach that we're going to talk about a little bit now for the last few minutes is pseudo alignment, which is what Callisto calls its approach, um, and the way it works is by comparing each of your reads against the reference transcriptome, but it does it in a way that isn't it's not doing like a computationally expensive alignment where it tries to figure out like how does my 100 mer like exactly match against each of our transcript sequences? Instead, what it does is it basically takes each transcript sequence that you think might be there and it breaks it into really small pieces, little words called k-mers. Um, and you can choose the length, but the default length is 32. So pretty small pieces compared to what the full length transcript sequences are. So you take like your 2000 base you know, gene transcript and break it into 32 base pieces. The first 32 is a second, and then move over one and take another 32 or move over one. Do that from the beginning to the end. Do that for every transcript in the transcriptome and create a database of all of these sequences. And then you go through each read and you do a similar thing. You say, basically, I'm going to take my read and I'm going to break it into chunks of 32 and I'm just going to look for exact matches, basically. And that concept of like looking for short exact matches is you can do very, very fast. So computers are very, very good at efficiently checking, like, is this exact thing in this list in the, uh, like exactly in this other list? Uh, and that's a gross oversimplification <laughs> of what Callisto does, but that's the, the basic premise is that it's looking for these exact word matches by building a, a big list of the words that could be there based on the known transcript sequences, and then just looking for those words in your uh, sequence, uh, your RNA sequence data. Okay, so that's the like two minute explanation of pseudo alignment and camer based analyses. And that concept of like like making words um, and searching against them is used. That's like a, a general concept in bioinformatics that's used over and over again for all kinds of useful things.